Getting your aging parent the mental health or substance abuse counseling that they really need just got easier. But how do you get them to go? Well, that we're going to talk about also. Hi there, I'm Sophia. Welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about some significant changes that could really help your aging parent, especially if they need mental health or substance abuse counseling. If you're helping to take care of your aging parent who might have this particular need, then this video is just for you. As of January 1st of this year, 2024, Medicare made a big change and they expanded their list of eligible mental health providers to include potentially over 50,000 new professionals. This includes marriage and family therapists, mental health counselors, and addiction counselors. For over 30 years, these professionals have been trying and working towards being recognized by Medicare as a mental health provider, and finally they had some success, and they're now able to accept Medicare and bill for their services. So what does this mean for your parent? Well, with these changes, you're going to have a much easier time finding providers for mental health and substance use counseling, and both Medicare and Medicare Advantage plans are required to cover this expanded network of providers. So under regular straight Medicare, these services will fall under Medicare Part B, and there will be a 20% copayment that might apply. If your parent is dual eligible, meaning they have both Medicare and Medicaid, then Medicaid might help with some of those out-of-pocket costs that Medicare doesn't cover, such as the copayment. However, it isn't guaranteed for all services, so it's, it's really important that you check with each provider. And every Medicare recipient is also entitled to an annual depression screening, and they can get this done through their primary care provider. So make sure that you get this scheduled if you have any concerns. This proactive approach is so important in managing and identifying potential mental health risks. And when you're helping your parent choose a new provider, here's a tip. Always, always make sure that they accept Medicare and that your parents' sessions will be covered. It's all about not only finding the right care, but also making sure it's accessible and affordable because you don't want any surprise bills. And while we're talking about the practical steps in accessing care, it's also important to understand why do we even worry about this in the first place? Well, aging comes with so many challenges that increase the risk of depression. Our parents might be struggling with mobility issues and lack of independence, chronic pain and health conditions, and really just kind of a loss of purpose. And they might have a natural fear of what's coming in their future. And sometimes even substance abuse, all these things together can really affect their mental health. So it's important not to overlook the signs of depression, which can be really prevalent in our older parents. Some symptoms might include them always looking sad or anxious or kind of having an empty mood. They might express feelings of not seeing the purpose of living or they feel worthless about their inability to participate. They might be irritable or restless or angry and they just might not enjoy activities that you, they used to love. They might even just say out loud to you that they don't want to live anymore. Do not ignore these symptoms. Take them seriously. There's also physical signs that can be present, such as having a de decreased energy or moving slower or talking slower, or you might notice changes in their sleep or eating. These symptoms might be masked under other health problems and you might not be able to know the difference. So it's really important to take note of them, make sure their doctor is aware, or even their new therapist if that's possible. Even more concerning are thoughts of death or suicide in your parent, especially since men over the age of 85 have the highest rates of completed suicide. These topics are not easy to talk about, but they're so essential. Recognizing the signs early and responding with compassion and urgency will really make a significant difference in the well-being of your parent. 
So even though availability of mental health services has increased, which is terrific, but many older adults just historically have underutilized this resource, and here's a couple of reasons why. Some weren't even aware that Medicare covered mental health or therapy at all. Others found that if they, even if they knew that it was covered, they couldn't find a provider. There just weren't enough, but thankfully that issue is resolved. Another real big barrier has been the stigma associated with mental health or substance use counseling. So it's really important that we change the way we talk about these issues in order to help our parents feel comfortable getting the help that they need. So when discussing mental health, consider focusing the conversation around their emotional well-being and strategies to, men to manage their life challenges or life changes. These phrases can be a little less intimidating than directly suggesting they need therapy or mental health, you know, that their mental health is out of whack and they're depressed. Make it easier for your parent to accept support. And addressing substance use also requires some sensitivity. Try to avoid labels like addict or abuser. Talk about substance use or alcohol use. This language is not only a little more respectful, but it also acknowledges your parents' experience without sounding judgmental. Remember that your role is to be their ally. Many people who have substance use issues over their lifetime have always felt like an, out, like an outcast. So by showing that you're on their side, you can help them get the treatment that they need. It's also important to note that these expanded mental health services, they're not just for our parents. If you're over 65, and I, lot, I know a lot of you are, or if you're permanently disabled on Medicare, these services are available to you as well. And that is important because caregiving is challenging and it's a stressful role. Taking care of your mental health is important to maintain your well-being so that you can keep supporting your parent. This expanded access to mental health services opens the door to so many people to get the support that they need, whether it's for you or for your aging parent. Taking the first steps toward mental health care can make a huge difference in your quality of life. If this video was helpful, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.